Ladies and gentlemen, what will you do if your favorite object is shredded? Shocked, right? Will you try your best luck with sticky tape? But in vain. Or you will like an ancient Japanese general who gave his answer by introducing the world another way of treating worn out object. That is, Kizuki. As you can see, just like the pet of my PPT, imagine there is a ball holding tight in your hand, and it is, it is broken. But when you piece together all the fragiles, the miracle happened. The Golden River began to wind itself around the fragiles, which used to be the wound of the porcelain. That is the art of Kinski. But you may ask, what is Kinski distinguished from a sticky tape that only cost a moment? Well, that's surely a huge difference. For if the broken pottery never experienced a tough time of being bonded by gums and struck with melted gold, it's impossible for them to be turned into those dedicated arts. So what can we conclude from those ingenious workmanship? If uh, that is, never be afraid of brokenness and potential danger. Instead, learn to combine your failure with your current situation and then gain experience from it. Curse, the new life after hardship, can be filled with beauty. Beverly Seal said that defeat may make you disappointed, but if you don't try, you're destined to fail. It's the same when it comes to art and life. Have any of you watched the movie Brave Heart? If you watched it, you will certainly remember the main characters, William Wallace, who is a Scottish warrior in his time, and led his people in the numerous battles to fight against the much larger British forces. Despite his weak weakness, he uses his stra strategic brilliance and his courage to interpret what the spirit of Kingsgate means. Although he was finally captured and executed, his legacy lived on for hundreds of years. And his fearlessness and brave action were all manifestations of embracing brokenness and imperfection. But please don't forget, what Kinski attracts people most is the way it treats wounds. If your skull failed to beautify treating defects with an attitude of facing up to it, with calmness and hearing the longing for beauty in the unpermanent world. Let's imagine you just had a really unfortunate day with math, <laughs> and you just copy down the Mars scheme, and just comfort yourself that you have learned all the things today, and actually you have wasted it. For if you, uh, but if you um, are facing the questions with an attitude of responsible, and redo all the questions that, you're, that are wrong with the most, with your own ways of thinking, you are, uh, you are achieved the perfection of Kinski. For in the repairment of Kinski, it is not, uh, it's not essential to cancel all the imperfections. It does not contradict the radiance of the object itself. And it's in harmony with the object itself. But you may ask, how do I know that what, what the life after this will be? But if you say, if we say that it's not essential to define success as perfect, the new life after hardship can be hopeful and full of beauty. In either the art of Kinski or the thoughts produced by Confucianism, no, it's impossible to do it. We still have to do it. I'm introducing you a famous general and loyal patriot during the Southern Song Dynasty. Yue he's another example of this spirit. You know, when Jing army invaded China in a massive military campaign, Yue Fei, despite knowing the overwhelming advantages taken by the enemies and impossible odds, led his troop in a valiant effort to rebel invaders. His unwavering commitment to defend his country cost him his life. But his legacy as a national hero who sacrificed all things for his country lived on for thousands of years. And even in the darkest time of a Republican, there are still someone who stands out to interpret the spirit of Kinsugi. Cho Jing, a female revolutionary and activist, 
Despite knowing the impossible, impossibilities and the risks and difficulties involved, she actively plotted an armed revolution and was ultimately captured and executed. Although the results may not be perfect, we can still constantly treat them with an optimistic attitude. And that is another form of success. So I want to emphasize my topic again. That is, don't be afraid of breaking, but strive to be guided. You, someone, you, you may ask, uh, in our daily life, how can we do everything like those national heroes and expect it to be lost for centuries? But in fact, if you are treating everything in life with the spirit of Kinski, some something can truly last it longer than you expect it. It can be more beneficial than you have ever imagined. Let's just give you some examples again. Every time you pick up the workbook, it's Let's say you have already taken steps to correct any of the mistakes. You are treating the broken pottery with the heart of an artist. And every time you understood the professor's ideas by heart, you are gliding golden powder to the fragments. And every time you have resisted the temptation of bed and stayed up late until at night sticking to a problem, you have nothing to fear when stepping into an examination room. Just like Martin Luther King remarked, we must accept disappointment because it is finite, but we must not lose hope because it is infinite. We have already suffering a lot from damage and pain, but we are now met with a chance appreciating the beauty of future and hope. So that's all. Thank you all for listening.